Hey guys, this is Jamie and Lola Tallulah, Poet Spice, and I am here to do, yes, I know it's going to sound weird, but I am here to do a prep video for December Daily. Now, if you've been on my channel for any length of time, you know that I actually don't just do December. I start at Thanksgiving time in November, and I go all the way till we come back from uh, Christmas break in January. Last year, I also went a little bit earlier um, because I did like a thanks, I forget who was hosting it, but it was like a thankful so many days thing. So I actually started a couple weeks before Thanksgiving. And this year, I am thinking since I did that, I might as well just go ahead and start on November 1st. So that's going to be all of November, December, and the first week of January. So <laughs> needless to say, I probably should get it done since it's the middle of October. I've been stuck between three veins that I wanted to go th through. I can't sure if I want to do steampunk Christmas, if I want to do Festa Fiesta Christmas, which is like with your camels and your llamas and your, you know, like uh, Mexican Fiesta, so forth and all that kind of stuff. Because I have paper for that too. And then, you know, I've got steampunk all out the wazoo. We just did that, what you call it. Um, or Boho. So as of right now, I decided to go boho. So I was going to show you some of the things I have prepped already and what I pulled out. First, I did as I usually do. I took a book, an old book, ripped off the guts, cut it apart, used the covers, okay? And I punched, well, I wrapped the edges in gold duct tape and punched the holes and put my huge three and a half inch rings on here. And it looks kind of funny now because look how thin it is on these gigantic butt rings. But if you've been on my channel for the last few years, you know that my December daily ends up looking like a tome <laughs> of crap. So we got to have the three and a half inch rings. If I could get four and four and a half inch rings, that would probably be even better. So the paper I used so far was a boho collection and you can get it at Hobby Lobby. I got it 50% off because y'all know I don't pay full price. What the devil? Okay. So I put the cover with some of that paper and then I made pockets and flips and so forth with it. And it's a page kit. So it wasn't, there was not a ton of items in it but I kind of like this look and it had that whole boho tribe thing going on have your flowers okay, so I have this flip out page like that there's this one and of course you know it has my colors in it blue and then I consider these in that purple range so there's some stickers and so forth, and I have some of this left to keep working with. I just don't know where I put it, where I put the extras. So I might end up going to buy another pack when it's on sale again. So there's my ba basic base. And then I'm going to use Christmas stuff and so forth, papers to add on. I'm going to show you some of the dye things that are right here on my desk and then some of the paper. And then I'm going to show you some of that the bins of Christmas stuff. So first I have some spell binders because I thought they kind of looked boho, gypsy-ish, uh, Romany, uh, your tribe kind of thing. So I got these two pulled out. Got this sun catcher. And then I had this unity stamp that was a sun catcher. And I thought it'd be cool because you have this on there and you can put some little Christmas stuff in it. I have two things from Little B. This is just your regular, you know, scalloped layered circles, but that would look interesting. And then I had this one, which is the whole, you know, my tribe feathers sun catcher thing going on here. And they were all like cheap when I bought them. Then this kit I got, which is kind of funny because it's so not Christmas or anything, but as soon as I saw it, number one, it was all things pretty when I saw it first, and I had to go got, get it as soon as I saw her video. It's this, and it's from By, uh, the, well, by the Well for God. And so clearly it's a religious thing. <clears throat> Jesus. All right, they give you these buttons. They have like a reading thing, which is funny because I haven't even done the, the study for it yet. Uh, they 
had stamps and I saw this one right here. At first I thought it was a girl because <laughs> of the eyelashes and everything. It's actually a little boy because he doesn't have a shirt on. But I'm going to put a little sleeve on there or whatever and make it a girl and have her rocking her feather afro. What? Yes. And then there's the actual girl. So I thought these would be really cute. You see the theme going on here? <clears throat> like two twists of the same theme. Then they have all these bits. That's actually something else, but they have all these bits and stickers and so forth. So I thought it would be cool. Now I did a haul video of this, so I'm not going really slow, but you can see the theme, right? So I thought it would be pretty cool to use. And I love this fox and this, I'm thinking it's a raccoon. I love that. And so they have some more. And I have another one. I got to find it because I have another one from Hunky Dory that has a, a little tribe kind of thing going on. And it has a really cute bear with it too. Plus it had these two feathers. So I got to have feathers in my December daily. I should, I called it something else before. What did I call it? I call it December daily every day for the next three months or something like that. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so I showed you that. Then I have some tattered lace dyes, and y'all know I do love my tattered lace. So these were in the Boho collection, along with a ton of flowers. So those are away as well. But you have this little dude and his dog with the fire. Probably won't use this one, um, but I might because it has a, this guitar in there. I don't have a guitar dye. Maybe I'll have to find something on my Cricut or, or my Silhouette. So then she is in here. She has, you know, she has the little Romany look going on. The Esmeralda or is es Esmeralda? Esmeralda, whatever. The girl from Notre Dame. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, I thought it was kind of cool because it looks like she's dancing. But if you put a Christmas tree by her, it looks like she's trying to decorate the tree. So you've got that going on. And then you have this little carriage. Uh, the boho carriage. So you got that, and that would be cute with little Christmas decorations hanging off of it and so forth. So I did that. Now, here are some of the paper. Oh, shoot. Here are some of the papers and stickers that I have pulled out in addition to what's already in the book. So let, let me do the stickers first because they're falling apart. So this is what? I don't even know what this is. Bow Bunny and just some of these brown pieces and like the music pieces would work and for your eyes only so just some of those little things that you have that don't look christmas or don't look like what theme you're going for just look at them again and you can see that okay so here obviously some of the yellows are too bright but here's this you can dull the sticker down or you know here over here you've got these birds singing and the little tags some of this brown could be in there i had this one which was from oh what was this? is this a steampunk collection by bow bunny uh, it's beautiful dreamer which i think was steampunk so some of these little hot air balloons and stuff they just have the they have the right coloring for the what i'm going for in my book and then I had this one, which obviously, like, this piece here is kind of girly. But when you look at this and this, they would mix really well with some stuff. And then here, and the letters, too, if you put them in the right place. So I went with this. Okay. And then I have a stack of papers. Um, there's some of this Heartfelt Creations. And I don't remember who gave me this. But there's some of this in there and it works with the color scheme going on so i put that in there this is some paper from the uk all of this is from the uk in this stack but i showed all these in a the haul as well so you can see where the roses came in and then you've got some of this turquoise papers so there was that this is some of that let me get all of it together this is some of that holographic paper I just showed from Kanban. So I thought that would look a fabulous die cut. And I only put pulled out four pages, but there you go. Back. Here is a piece from 
it's a UK paper as well, but I can't remember who it's from, who it's by, but it was from there. This is uh, Hunky Dory. Once again, here are some of these stickers and so forth and embellishments. So for example, I'm not doing a music theme one, but there's a guitar on one of those pages. So this also with the music here and the color scheme would work. And then you could pull this off. You could put this in there. Life is a song, love is a music, and me and my family act crazy. So we do some singing and stuff, and this is just for you. So that could be in Christmas, and the colors just work. So I pulled that out <clears throat> to use some of that. Same thing here. Clearly, I am not doing a fishing theme, but when you go and look at this side here, if I can pull that up, there's some, these little pieces here that would work. And like just for you would work to someone special. Uh, this frame here could work or this blue one or the gold one. So just like I said before, look at some of your supplies that aren't what you think they are and just try to go and look at it. These are some hunky dory papers and they are freaking thick as all get out. I love their paper. But these all kind of complement the colors. So I don't know if this is showing up really well. Put something with it does it do better it does better with something else so i'm going to use this gray piece as well and these are some creamy orangey peachy papers um, this is some of that deep cranberry love this stuff they have this ice blue which i know well does it show up better with the color i don't know it might make it look white but then you have some of that like berry color this one, this one is a light tannish berry color, which I don't think it'll show up very well. This is a hunky dory paper. Pretty. And then I don't know where this came from, but it's thick as all get out as well. These are all from the UK as well, but not hunky dory paper. I got it's a mix of a couple selections of paper collections. And uh but it's thick as all get out too, construction weight. I love their paper in the UK. They get so much better paper. So there's three of the designs. And they kind of look weird together until you start putting in all the other pieces. Obviously some of these are coordinated, like these were all in the same pack together. <coughs> start using them in conjunction with each other. So you can see that. Let's see these. Alright, I'm going to have to do a second part. See you in a little bit.